Southall, Mr. Jones, Chris, and of the half marathon 2020. Our Dragon Stack runners will be here. Here we go, folks. These are our race winners. Wow, give them a big round of applause. The kids, they sprinted off up the high street. What an incredible performance. Yay, give them a round of applause, folks. Let us make some noise.
It's great to see so many children coming here and racing once again at the Anglesey, the Joe Six. Anglesey Half Marathon 2020 in the River Eye Dragon Tap. Oh, Dianoki Patsos. Dianoki, well the kids. What a brilliant effort. So, they come Absolutely brilliant. Well, the guys, thank you, mum and dad, grandparents, friends, supporters, thanks for being here today. If you want to get yourself some, something to drink, something to eat, the ones are here. Welcome, the ones. Toy Story, the ones. We believe the world's greatest coffee is here in North Wales and they are here with us at the Anthony Half Marathon, Joe Strips Anthony Half. Meg and Terry in the Fika Caravan, coffee getting down the hot drinks. We're looking for Bexan Curtis. If anybody knows Bexan, Bexan, a few man. Sit loud, ask us in their service, my mum, the full of Danachty. Bexan Curtis. You hear somewhere in the crowd, Bexan? I should see a man, my mum, the full of Danachty. Mum is looking for you, Bexan, so please come on over to the finish line and find the mummy. She's waiting there for you. Bexan Curtis. The time is now 9.31 in the morning. I remind you, the half marathon started at 9 a.m. The 10K will start at 9.40. So 10 minutes now to the half marathon start. No one's are here. Fika are here. The sport pursuit always aims high store is here. Amy is in the shop. Pop and see Amy and say hello. Uh, actually, Amy's got some cowbells. If anybody wants a cowbell, Amy will give you a cowbell completely free of charge. And you can ring your cowbell to welcome back our half marathon and 10k runners. So pop and see Amy in the Overton High School, right next door to the big white trailer. She can give you a bell. You can ring your bell and you can make some noise on the finish line. And do you know what the best? Thing about today's races, so we get to eat crisps. Jones and crisps, the best crisps in the world. They are here on the finish line. Our, our runners will all be awarded a packet of Jones crisps. Every single one of our senior runners crossing the finish line, so the kids all get Harry Bows and sweets and that kind of thing. But our senior runners, adults are all given a packet of Jones crisps on the finish line. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Not every half hour of the way you're given a packet of the right. world's famous Jones crisps on the finish line. But that's what happens here at the Jones Anglesey Half Marathon. So, dear the Jones, he gets out of the field. Why get out of the world? Did you welcome? Or good pass? The Jones crisps Anglesey Half Marathon. And 10k. Also in our race village, if anybody's got cold ears or a cold head, pop and see Ian at the big bubble hat tent. Ian's here with his bubble hat. And he will keep your ears warm for you on a cold day like today. So there he is, big bubble hat. I've seen quite a few of them out there in the crowd. Lots of colours, lots of designs. I'm sure there's some Welsh ones in there somewhere, is that right Ian? We have the Welsh hat. There it is. What better gift on St. David's Day for your loved one than a Welsh dragon bubble hat. So thanks Ian. Thanks. Good to have you with us once again. The big bubble hats. They are here and they 
specialise in keeping your ears and your head warm. That is what they do. Just see Tara walk past, she's wearing one. Fetching purple and blue at that one. So you can get yourself a coffee from the speaker caravan. You can then pop over and see Ian, get yourself a bobble hat with a Welsh dragon on on St. David's Day. Then you can go to the land to get yourself a nice breakfast pack or something similar, whatever the land to do it. And then you can still you can get a, a cowbell free of charge, completely free, from Amy in the Origin High School. And then you can come up to the finish line and you can welcome back the runners, all of the runners in the half marathon part of the 10K. Okay. The 10K will be underway in about five minutes. Time is now just coming up to 9.35. The start of the 10K is at 9.40. So that is the drill for this morning. In the event village here at the Jones Chris Langsley Off Marathon. Lock and lock to see and do. Loads for you guys to keep you entertained. So, we have already did, did a big, big shout out to the residents of Menard Bridge because due to the weather and the unforeseen circumstances we did, it was necessary to move the start line for, the, for all of today's races onto the high street. Actually, it's been great being down there on the high street because it brings, it brings more people onto the high street to support all the businesses there on the high street. The uh, cafes, the restaurants are open early this morning to keep you guys warm and fed. Right, we are looking for a child by the name of James Jack Evans. We know that James started the race, but he hasn't finished, so we assume that uh, he's with his mum or dad or parents probably sort of decided not to carry on with the race for James Jack Evans. We need to know that you are here and you are safe. So please, if you are with James, if you relate to James, if you know who James is, if you could just come on, pop on over to the finish line and let us know that James Jack Evans is somewhere safe and nearby, then we would be uh, much appreciated. Thank you very much, James Jack Evans. So come on, I can have a James. Oh, he's here. There he is. Jack, is that your name? Jack Evans. Did you, Jack, did you come through the finish line? Yeah, you did. What's your number, Jack? Check them out. So, I will remind you once again of the time, because the timing this morning are very, very important. 9.37 now. The 10K will start in three minutes. If you want to watch the start of the 10K, folks, you can just head straight up onto the road. It's then literally about a minute walk from here. Just walk up past the fire station up to the road, where you will see the start of the Jones and Chris Anglesey 10K. That's happening in three minutes. You will see the runners head out up towards the bridge, and then about... Three or four minutes later, you will see them all running past and out onto the 10k course. So you can see all the 10k runners heading out onto their race. And then we will expect the first of the 10k runners to be back here a little after half an hour. So around about 10 past 9. And around about the same time, around about 10 past, uh, sorry, 10 past 10, I do apologise, will also be the winner of the half marathon. So our race winners in the half marathon and the 10k expected here on the finish line around about 10 past, now, uh, 10, past 10. So about four, uh, half an hour from now, a little over half an hour, 35 minutes from now, our race winners will be back with us here on the finish line.
So the 10K will be underway in one minute now. One minute for the 10K. I can hear some cowbells. That's a nice sound. There are more over in the OSM High store. If anybody would like a cowbell, pop and see Amy. She has a cowbell to give out completely free of charge. If you want to get yourself a cowbell, pop and see Amy in the OSM High shop, which is right next to the big white trailer. And Amy will give you a bell, and you can come and ring your bell on the finish line. Come to that, your kids can grab themselves a bell. And that is going to annoy you for the rest of the day, believe me. The cowbells in the car on the way home. We've all been there. Right, let's go. 10K is underway in five seconds now. Three, two, one. And there goes the 10K here at the Jones, Chris. And the half marathon of 10K. The Jones 10K is underway. The runners are up on the high street. Our 10K runners. Well, this is a good time, and after that, I'm going to need the and Vauri out. He pauses when he kept knocking and rasped him up. Just a few minutes after he held him at earth, but he's doing that. To be honest, stand by. The other Vauri kicked in, and what more? He kept knocking on. Then what did he? Our Jones, Hannah Vanessa, and his boy, Stoey, Bill, and Kikian. The other Vauri pauses. The other is Patnery, and he's Patnery, and he's kicking in. Jones Chris, he replied, both the suit, high five, super feet, the Oslo, Rawson, Digital and Travis Perkins. Yeah, for out. The power of Pastor Ayagoni. So any, thank you very much to all of our event partners. The race would not be possible without them. Jones Chris, of course, our pet title partner once again this year at the Jones and the Half Marathon. Every single runner will be given a packet of crisps as, as they come in through the finish area, so that is well worth running the half marathon and the 10k for. Thanks to Ribride for uh, supporting the Dragon Dash to kill the race. Ribride, of course, located here in Winnebridge. Jeff Warrior, you your Ribride. Thank you to Sport to our retail partner. To High Five, our nutrition partner, to Super Beat. To Oslo, uh, our apparel partner. To Rawson's Digital looking after our digital needs. And Travis Perkins, Travis Perkins are here once again with the backdrop lorry there just outside the fire station. So thank you once again Travis Perkins for being so supportive and coming along to, uh, to help out. I also got to say a very, very special thank you actually to the local authorities in Anglesey and to the uh, Trump Road Agency for working with us on the challenges that we've had to overcome in the last 24 hours with the uh, high strong wind on the uh, Britannia Bridge and of course the issue with the uh, vehicle last, uh, last night, late last night uh, and the tree being blown over on the road between here and Bumaris which meant that the half marathon route has had to be diverted so thank you very much to Anglesey Council especially to the Highways Department and to the Trunk Road Agency for working with us to uh, overcome those challenges to the Welsh Government Therefore, I was here, and to win a council, of course. So the race originally starts actually over on the other side of the bridge in Gwynedd. So we also have to work with Gwynedd as council for this event. So thank you very, very much to all of the people for helping us make this possible. The race, actually, you can track the race on the uh, on your smartphone on the live race tracker. You head over to the uh, Facebook page. There's always a high event on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Links to the live race tracker also of course on the race website at alwaysaimhighevents.com. So head over to one of those uh, locations on your smartphone. Phone. You can log on to the race tracker, the live tracker. You can uh, put your, your loved one's race number or their name into the live tracker and then you can track their progress around the route. So thank you to see the LMS services for providing us with all the uh, knowledge and expertise to make those things possible. Your event photography today.
is courtesy of Mel Parry, the veteran country. Mel, of course, working to be on Anglesey. We are very, very proud and, uh, and happy to work in partnership with a, a large number of other local uh, event service providers. Mel Parry, of course, in our country, the element services for Sangemdi, us, ourselves, always in high events, place here on the, Anglesey, uh, on the island in Sangemdi. We deliver events all over Wales. That's what we do. This is the first of our events for the year, the Anglesey Half Marathon. There will be another long season for us, no doubt. But thank you for all those local businesses. Still answer here, Peter's here. Tom's here, TDL. Travis Perkins are here. Thank you, dear Fonny Alvin Hickey, and I'm on board, Kev If you're feeling inspired by what you see today, you want to have a go yourself? Why not have a think about the Anglesey Trail Half Marathon of 10K? That happens in about two months' time. On the 17th of May is our Anglesey Trail Half Marathon of 10K. That is down at Eudra Forest. It's a short distance from where we are here at Quasay Street. And their marathon of 10K Trail and it's more. Stick with Tano we play. It's like a like a seal that goal. Well, ตอนนี้ก็ปกติที่กินอะไรแบบนั้นออกไปในไฮเวนท์ดอทคอมสักทีเดียวเดี๋ยวบอกว่าคุณพี่เอาอะไรแบบนั้นคุณสาวเอ
We'll be conducting the prize giving, the award ceremony for the children. That is now just beyond the finish line, right next door to the Dillon Food Truck. But you will see the podium is there. And that is where we will award the children their prizes in about ten minutes' time. Well done, Bright. Never seen you move so fast. He was heading for the flapjack in the crisp. That explains it. Right, cowbells, I can hear them. And we have more. If you want a cowbell, then head to see Amy in the uh, sport to shoot the other name high school. Yeah, there's more in the trailer. There are two more boxes of cowbells in the trailer. Amy's telling me she's run out, but I'm sure there's more there. So if you've got a cowbell, then you can go and have a word with Amy in the shop. And Amy should be able to find you a cowbell and you can make some noise on the finish line for when the runners come in. Ma'n rath yn gael ei cynnal y gael ei hyd eich i'n gweithio. A da i falch iawn bod hi gyd yma. I cefnogi ac i fwy'n hau y bora gyda ni cafu'r cwpa. O'r ffan gefn ni yn dan ni yma ar yr ynys. A da i iawn i fod yma ar hanner marathon yn dys môr i'n dweud eto i'n lenni. Hwn ydy yr nawfed tro da i wedi cynnal yr ath yma. Pwy gynter i oed i ni gwaith symud. Mae'n ti'n llet cychwyn o fi ar y bond, lawr at y Sbyd Fawr, ond mae wedi bod yn plester actwyd bod ar y Sbyd Fawr. Llawer iawn o bobl yna yn gefnogi y caffi da byth yn saith gyd ar hyn y Sbyd Fawr. Mae hyn ar wbath bosibl i ddod allan o'r faith o'n i gyd goros y Sbyd. Mae'n ti'n llet cychwyn o'r bond, i lawr yma i'r pentre. Mae sy'n diolch o'r iawn i'r cymuned te yma yn bod hyn ti ar y gwrs y bydd marys. Dan Fai, cafodd mor gefnogol a ti'n cydweithio gyda ni dy bros y sialenj o Gwrs Symud y ti'n llet gyrchwyd i'r Sydd Fawr am y trwg gyntaf erioed eleni. Hefyd o'r gwrs, y cwyntaf gall i chwyntu drosog eithiwr, hwyr eithiwr, ar y lod awr ach, fydd lawr ach fi marys, cwyntaf wedi disgyn, ar ben car fydd y lod yna wedi cael, Trwy'r dyn hyn yma, ac yn hynna yn golygu bod i wedi gorau symud y rath a marathon. Mae'n diversion i osgoi y lôn yna, ac yn hynna golygu bod yr hyddwyr yn gorau dringo a serth iawn. Mae'n sydd yn ei ddim yn disgwyl i weld PB. Hyn yma ar y rath. Mae'n trwy yn ymwneud trwy'n sa'n teg yma, am y trwy gyntaf. Y rhan am Arathon, sy'n diolch o'r iawn i'r cymuned yn Dan Degran hefyd. Am fod mor cefnogol a croesawwyd y rhedwyr fel maen nhw'n mynd i fynd i'n trwy Dan Degran ac i lawr. 
Ik ben maar eens dat ik ook kort aan de paren al, maar met een één paar. Ik wil het zien, ik ben in al iets aan de kwam. Dat je lauwer maakt, een al maar één paar dit twee. Ik was van de maat, de maat was geld, dat was gewoon. Dat was aan de staan, dat was dat aan. Het is hier gewoon, ik ging hier, hier recht weer. Ik ging, ik heb nog weer. Die partner, die partner, die partner, die kier. Die toon, die pietje. Die stappel had. Maar ik weet het, ik weet het, dat ik hier, dat staat, haar kort, dat is heel veel wat ik zelf hier. So there's a lot and lot of people that we need to thank. For making these events possible, all the event marshals, the volunteers, the community groups, the sports clubs who are involved, all helping out with this year's Jones Chris Fantasy Half Marathon. The time is now 9.55. The children's prize giving should be happening very, very soon. If you could head over towards the podium with the with your children. That will be happening in the next few minutes. And our first runners, the winners of the half marathon and the 10k will be with us in about 15 to 20 minutes. The podium is behind you, madam, just over there, next to the Dillon truck. We were head to the back of the finish line area. The podium is right next to the Dillon food truck. You will see how it will always have high podium. That's where the children's prize giving will take place. So, let me just uh, give you a pre-warning. It is going to get very, very busy here in the finish line in the next 15 to 20 minutes. As our half marathon and tank K runners make their way in across the finish line, so will the spectators and all the supporters also make their way into the finish line and it is going to get crazy busy down here. If you want to get yourself a cowbell, pop and see Amy in the OSM High Store. Amy has cowbells in the trailer, there's two boxes of cowbells in that trailer, saw them there before yourself. We have cowbells that we give free of charge if anybody wants to make some noise here on the finish line. Pop and see Amy in the Owens and Ida Sports Beach store right next to the white trailer. When they're gone, they're gone. That's what I'm saying. And that's what it is for the cowbells. When they're gone, they're gone. Right, we're getting towards the time of day where I have to drop several hits to big coffee. If I plug them enough on the microphone, then normally the coffee finds its way over to us in the PA truck. Because you know, it's good for the, good for the vocal cords. It's quite hard talking all morning, non-stop. So a little bit of coffee does help to uh, get through the morning. Keep those vocal cords loose. So sooner or later, in the next sort of 20 minutes or so, somebody will get the hint and I'll bring one over. It's free of charge, they'll give, they'll give it me. That's the, uh, the benefit of giving him a plug on the mic. So, the love all, the Kisha, the odd point, get a few well back, I carry it to the Vantika, then, what do you want to do? Can I break across the TG? I'm on a cafe, he's up here, the street bar, and I'm going to go to the Kisha point. Mae'n caffi lleol, cerwch chi fyny at y stryd fawr, mae'r caffi sy'n gyd ar agor. Coffi a bwyd a te. Mae'n naill chi gyd. Mae'n ni yn fod yn agos o'n i ddeg o goch yn y bora, ddo ra, 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 
a fajtkori garantia új a kurz, és írt egy neki vödér ásztat, ítán tek van, ahogy én tettek a nól, így vödér ásztat, arra van a nól,
Newberry Forest and the beach down at Newberry is absolutely incredible. It's stunning. And that is where we host our annual trail, half hours and 10 days. That is in May. We also hope uh, Newberry Forest Trail is going to be open again in the summer. So we have a lot of things to do. Yeah, we have a lot of things to do. Yeah, we have a lot of things to do. Yeah, we have a lot of things to do. So that is the biggest trail race in the UK. So sorry, I'm going to go around them. On that race, there are 10 days, a half hour, a full hour, and an open distance. And this year, for the first time, a 24 hour race. So we've introduced something in the Snow Road Trail Marathon called the Snowden 24. And basically, it's a challenge to run up and down Snowden as many times as possible in 24 hours. It sounds ridiculous. I know, I think it's crazy. But we've set people the challenge of running up and down snow for 24 hours 10 times. And if, if they can achieve 10 times up and down snow in 24 hours, that is the equivalent of running up and down Everest. Okay? That's the snow 24. So the, uh, so the, it's a part of the Snowdonia Trail Marathon. Uh, it happens in July. Again, all the information you need about that event on the allthedayhighevents.com website. And we have lots and lots of other races taking place at Conway Marathon at the end of the year. We did, we did it the first time last year. Very well, very well received. Starts and finishes on the beautiful promenade in San Dindo. That is the Conway Marathon on the 27th of September. That race has a 10 mile, a 20 mile and a traditional 26.2 mile marathon distance. <laughs> and then at the Sandman Triathlon, we have the Sandman Torch Light Trail, which is a running race. Okay, we did it last year. It's a run in the dark around the woods in Newbury. It's called the Sandman Torch Light Trail. And it happens on the 15th of September down at Newbury Forest. So lots and lots of things happening locally on Anglesey, in Conway, in Gwynedd. Please come along, get involved. It's brilliant. These races are so, so good, so well organised. Fantastic atmosphere, loads and loads of people, and lots of benefit, benefit for the local communities. That is what is so important about what we do always in high events. Working alongside local businesses, local groups, local sports clubs, charities, all benefiting from the races like this one you see here today, the Joe Smith and the Art Marathon. My own triathlon calendar, the Harlem Triathlon, is in April, in June. We have Two triathlons, actually very, very big ones. The Spaceman Triathlon in its tenth year this year. Celebrating ten years of the Spaceman in San On the 13th and 14th of June. And on the 1st and 2nd, sorry, later in June, the 27th, 28th of June, the Cardiff Triathlon. We're down in Cardiff in the bay. What a uh, privilege it is to us, based here on Anglesey, to be delivering events down in Cardiff. So the Cardiff Triathlon, that in June, in August, the Snowman Triathlon. Snowman Triathlon is a class of Brennan, that's in, in the end of August. In September is our Sandman Triathlon. And finally, in August, the 23rd of August, the Tour de Morn Cycle Sports Team. That is our full calendar of events for the year. The Tour de Morn is in Hollyhead. Up here on Right, I'm just checking the time. It is now 8 minutes past 10. 8 minutes past 10, which means our winners will be here in the next 5 minutes or so. Our finish line tape is prepared. The thing is, the next is good stuff. But then it's still the little of that. So it's 10 minutes and a 10k day of Hammer Marathon.
Ryan Davis, winner of the 10K. Wow, what a performance. Well done to you, Ryan. Congratulations. Ryan Davis from Wrexham Athletic Club is your race winner. So just check the Ryan there on his garment because of the, uh, the, the changes to the room. Changes to start after you get a little bit more for your buddy today, Ryan. 6.3 miles, which is slightly longer than 10 days. So there you go. That is the, uh, we knew that there was going to be a discrepancy in the race distance because of the need to change the race start. So Ryan Davis, your race winner from Wrexham. I think it's dial key. Thank you very much, Ryan. We need to bring you all Rex Sammy, what they want to hear in this morning, Emma. Ryan. For the good time, that is his school gear at Ail. Let's go. For the 10K, let's go to the 10K, and we shall hear the last. It's like we're well doing, and we're here to support that. It's a bit of a melon or the Hannah Barton. This is a 10K, and we're here to ask, very well. Did he still receive a Hannah Madison on the corner? Don't he meddle that little bit of that loud enough to see Mr. Quinn? Our next runner now approaching, let's bring some cowbells up. Let's make some noise for our second place runner in the 10K, we believe. This is top three, Ryan Davis against Ryan Roberts and Ayl, a Gwion, Popol, Roberts, so we're the only one trusted. Then I need a three against that under 10k, he will. Go on, then he can score. We're against that under Hannah Madison. Then a Sunna against that under 10k. Then we're against that under 10k. Alex Lee, well done Alex. Alex Lee is in his fourth place. Congratulations, Alex Lee. Back on the half 
uh, if we uh, if it weren't for the fall and three that we have to deal with at about half past eleven last night we were informed of the fall and three. So it has been quite a challenge for us as the race organisers. Here we go, our next runner. This folks is Iwan Lane, I have seen Iwan, Iwan Lane. With a couple higher than 10k, you want you want lane in the 10 k well than you want. I think you're fifth place today, I don't see. Timid in the 10k. Oh yeah, the 10k. This of course is Prince David. The British Prime Station is out. Yeah. 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 Lydia Sharp. Lydia Sharp, the winner of the 10k ladies race. Lydia, wow, what a performance. That is incredible. Lydia Sharp, let's ring the cowbells one more time for Lydia! Woo! Yes, well done Lydia Dial C. Lydia Sharp. Lydia Sharp, our winner of the ladies' third day. Behind Lydia we had Harry Driscoll for North Wales Road and Jamie Williams. David Taylor Taylor and David Hyde is in. Well done you guys. <laughs> Apologies, Tony, you were fourth place. 
I do apologize, go to your score, please. So Richard is in in the half marathon. This is Richard White from Hale Dorin on the Richard, congratulations to you. Just in front of Richard was Griff Roberts from Menai Track and Field on the Griff. Congratulations in the 10K. 5675 is David Ellis from Cubby Striders. Well done, Cubby Striders. Oh, there we are. Dale Keith. First lady in the half marathon. No? Sorry, I'm getting confused. You've got a red number on because you've done the 10K. There you go. We got a little bit excited then. In the 10K. Just to make a note of that, that was Catherine Tudor Jones, number 1075. But in the 10K. So we're waiting for our first lady in the half marathon. She runs the finish line. The 10 African sat in the half marathon. Mr. Lord Richard Hankinson. Well done, Richard. Or maybe on this, I don't see his chat. Uh, Lyndon Roberts is in front of Lyndon, Dioxy Lyndon, the Amor Cavanaugh, and the 10K up to be strangers. And Nick Brooke, or in any Harriers and all, Dioxy Nick, well done Nick, congratulations, in the 10K. Right then. Well, lots and lots of runners now coming in over the finish line. Right then, here we go, look at that, it's Sam Green, hello Sam, didn't know you were coming, Sam Green, in the half marathon, in fact well done to Sam, and behind Sam is Jonathan Kettle from North Wales Road and Jamie Roberts, Road Lonely Goat, I think in fact. Thomas, Mark, Jaffet, 
Lots and lots of runners now coming in over the finish line. Please keep bringing those cowbells. Stopping your hands, giving them a cheer. Alec Moore, Sue Harrison, Johnson Smith, J.P. Thomas, Michael Coyne, Leon Harper, Owen, Wendy Lloyd, Chris Moore, with the Wilt, Fergal Derrick, Owen Humphrey, Philip Shaw, David Elvin, Richie Williams, Sai Aoki Keyes, Sai Powell from Double High, Joe Smith, Pamela Madison Moore, every single one of our winners will be given a packet of Jones Chris on the finish line. How about that? It's not every race you go to where you're handed a packet of the world's best Saint Joe Chris, but you do get it here at the Jones Chris Fantasy Art Marathon. So the Akalar, E. Jones and uh, Kevlocki, they are also given a lovely, lovely flapjack, and as they make their way around towards the exit finish area, all the runners given a memorial taxi, a race medal, and it's important to say, actually, a reusable yeah, high tide for winning drip bottles. Because yeah, this year, always in high events, we are trying to push forward with some very, very strong environmental messages. Uh, we've already introduced our Tea for Three campaign, which uh, basically all the runners at all our events this year are given a t-shirt, free t-shirt, as part of their race entry. But if those runners choose not to have their t-shirt, they, uh, they can opt Brooks to plant trees as an option for having a race t-shirt. We call it t-shirt trees. We're the first people on the planet to be doing it, as far as we're aware. So folks, please do support these important environmental messages. If you don't want a race t-shirt, if you've got lots of them, got drawers full of them at home, we don't mind, we're not offended if you don't want one of our race t-shirts, because we will commit to planting trees as an alternative to your race t-shirt. Big tea for trees. This is the first race ever that that campaign has been that has been operated with on offer. So that is what we do here always in high events. We also have very, very strict policies on littering. We do not allow it, it's not permitted. And also we have, we give all of our runners a reusable running bottle thanks to our event partners High Five. All the runners will be given a free uh, refillable event bottle which they will take away and hopefully will use in the future so we can cut down on the amount of waste that these events uh, create so you won't see any plastic, any, any uh, single use plastic here at any of our events. You, if we don't do it, we've never done it, we won't do it. We do use uh, cups on our road races at the finish line and out on the beach station. However, we do dispose of the cups in a responsible manner uh, and in future we are going to do everything that we can to reduce, uh, to reduce and minimise the amount of waste that these events generate. So reusable bottles are part of that campaign. So please folks, all those people who are running today, make good use of those bottles in the future so that we can cut down on the amount of waste that is generated on these, on these races. Next year, we, uh, we're going to, well after this race, we'll send out a questionnaire. We'll ask your opinion on race medals. And if there is a more environmentally friendly way of, uh, of awarding a race medal or a memento following the race, we have some ideas, we've tried them out in the past. We know that a, a nice medal is a really nice memento, so it's something to take away from uh, your race here, but is there something else, another item that can be more... Uh, so the race medal is something that we're thinking about. Because we know that it's, it's a contentious issue. Not everybody wants a medal at the end of the race. Some people would prefer to do something that is more sympathetic and more uh, thoughtful towards the environment. So let us know your feedback. We will send out a post-event questionnaire, a questionnaire following the race, and we would love to know what your thoughts are on race medals and if we can do something different. We have in the past done a slate poster. We did, uh, we've done that on some, quite a few of our events in the past. And the slate coasters, of course, are much more uh, environmentally friendly. They are sourced locally, here, only a few miles away. So there's no travel transport issues with, uh, with, with having to ship them from overseas. Uh, they, it is a, an item which can be used time and time again because the slate coaster is something that's got under your cup. So that's not a slate coaster, that's an option that we've done in the past and maybe we can consider for the future.
Right, I've just received an update on the children's prize giving. First of all, apologies for the delay. Uh, apparently the delay has been caused by the number of kids who entered the race on the morning of the race, which was uh, unprecedented, the number of children that turned up today and entered. So all my information has got to be inputted onto the computer system so we can make sure that the right children are awarded the prize, that we don't give the prize to the wrong uh, child. So, news from Barry is that the prize giving will be happening uh, imminently, I'm told. So apologies, parents and children, for the delay. Hopefully you will understand it's important that we do give the, the right prize to the right child. So uh, that explains why there has been a uh, slight delay on the field of prize giving. The moon count can be um, uh, the physical um, the ceremony of the year is one. We have earned the calendar now. Keep for here. Keep going to act in positive. And you'll see if we can get that to the hell. Get into it with the plan. Yeah, the girl at Whopper. Yeah, so this is an affam. Uh, my analyst school. But sorry, I'm in. I'm in for the hour. I'm in school. I'm in the hour. 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 i Anton Williams, Robert Heath, Sharon Ray, Andrew Barker, Charles Lindenbaum from Pimari Town Roadrunners, Mark Lloyd from Jester Roadrunners, Patricia Edwards, Alan Roberts from Manor Bridge, Brent Davis, Ewan Evans from North Wales Roadrunners. Because you, you will be awarded prize. So listen to your name. And I, uh, uh, 
And please take the way to the podium. Right then, these are the names that need to be over there. Uh, Miguel Jenkins, Becca Brown, Easton Price, Alfie Dillon, Kathy Glenn Edwards, Harvey Scott, Ben Sargent, Madeline Sinfield, Ben Sinfield, Chris Marshall, Rose Hayes, Emily Walker, Anna Dixon, Kayla Kane, Paula Golaski, and Mabel Weatherall. And also Zach Spencer. Steve few more to go. Uh, Zach Murray, please go over to the podium. Perry Marsland with Rio Mercado. Jack Holden. Gwen Hayes. Ella Bound. Ella Hayes. And that is it. So if your name has been called out, then please make your way over to the podium, which is right next door to the Dillan food truck. And the prize giving is going to be happening in the next minute or so. So thank you very much to everybody out, to the parents of all the children, and of course to the kids for your patience. The prize giving will be taking place. If your name is called out, you will be awarded the prize. It would be lovely to get your photograph on the podium. But the other key is here. If you get the applause. Oh, this is going to be a ceremony, what we are. Right then, back to the finish line. Yes, well done, all of our 10k and half marathon runners. Dio Kiki, our hit that heavy man, to go the inward, he's got a hound, crossed over. Let's see if we've got this to match, he's got two wins. The quince, the five foot of clean down, with the galley foot, because he's got strong, out of law. This is the other way out, he's proud. A quince of his enemy, a bug marathon. We would like to thank everyone for being so understanding with the, uh, the difficulties that we've had to overcome in the last 24 hours. The, the, the road closure, the bridge, the trees, everything that's happened has been a very, very difficult 40 hours, uh, 24 hours for us, the race organisers. But we do hope that you appreciate the fact that we were able to deliver a half marathon and a 10k, except the routes have not been officially measured, maybe slightly different. Uh, to what you're expecting, however, it's a lovely day, the conditions are good for running, and what a fantastic atmosphere. It is St. David's Day, ladies and gentlemen. The other one, Kuril Dewey Sam, from our own kind of country, and from history, and so this, and this board, it's St. David's Day, you're celebrating it here with us, in Meadowbridge. So thank you, folks, thank you for your understanding, thank you for your patience. We hope that you've had a great day, lots and lots of happy faces coming in over the finish line. So congratulations to each and every one of our runners completing the Joe Smith Anglesey Half Marathon 2020. Julie Pilkinson, Pilkinson Adrian Hill, Steve Book, uh, Bookup, Nella Trees, Michael Golding, Megan Hill, Adam McConnell, get, uh, Gerard Chapman, Paula Reynolds, Julie Pilkinson. John Hill, Watkin Hill, Sam Owen, Elliot Walker Jones, Zoe Roberts, Steve Lindlow, Melissa C. Brown, the Dolan Swan, the Kitsha Davis, Keelan Welsh. They keep on coming, runner after runner after runner here on the finish line. What a fantastic stretch of so many runners. So many happy faces. And lots and lots of fun to see with us in our great 2020 Anglesey Half Marathon and 10K. Wow. Well done, guys. Well done, girls. What a great effort. Congratulations to you all. And hats off to you for running in tough conditions today. Big for the wind. The big climbs at the, uh, out there on the Half Marathon route, which were unexpected, of course. Still the early hours of this morning, we have to those changes. Please see back to folks, especially on, I was uh, talking earlier on about some of the environmental sort of initiatives that we're trying to get involved with. Our Teas for Trees campaign is brand new. This is the first race where we have ever submitted that campaign where we're actually uh, offering people the option to sacrifice their race t-shirt for tree planting. We do get a lot of people tell us that they don't want a race t-shirt because they've got so many of them. So if that is you, if you've got loads of race t-shirts at home and you don't want another one, that's fine, we are not offended. What we will do is plant trees as an alternative to your race t-shirt. It's called Tea for Trees, it's brand new. 
We believe we're the first people on the planet to be offering these initiatives which are in, in support of the current environmental issues that we are all well aware of. So T's for trees is one. All the runners in today's race, as they exit the finish area, will be handed a, a refillable high five running drink bottle, which we will ask you to use time and time again in order that we can do away with. Yes, so tease the trees to continue. The drink bottles that we're doing here are the Amsterdam half this year. So as, they, as the runners exit the finish line, they'll collect their t-shirt, a medal, and their free refillable drink bottle, which we would ask the runners to use over and over and over again in order to reduce the amount of single-use plastic to get used. You know, the plastic drink bottles it's such a waste. So guys, if you could reuse those bottles, that would be fantastic. And we have some other exciting environmental uh, initiatives that we will be announcing in the next few weeks. So keep an eye out because we believe we are groundbreaking in some of the, some of the initiatives that we've taken on this year. Teach the Trees, of course, is one. There will be another one. And for next year, we want your feedback on the race medal. We want to know what you think in an environmental what about you? Uh, perspective. Would you prefer something different as opposed to a race medal? There are alternatives, we've tried them in the past. We know that you love medals and uh, it's, it's lovely to have a bit of memento, it's important that you take away a memento from the races that you do. But the more races you do, the more medals you collect. You know, they probably end up in a drawer or in a cabinet somewhere, probably never to see the light day again. So we think there are alternatives which would be more useful and more environmentally sensitive. So have a think, send us your feedback in the post-race questionnaire which we sent out to you in the next day or two. And please let us know what you think. It's important that we get these, these things right. We want to deliver what you guys, the runners, want. But also we want to consider what is important, what the, uh, the pressing issues are with the environment and how races like this can work to change to make things better for the future. So thank you folks, thank you all the Zim High community. Get for you out, Nikki. So let me be off there. We got feedback, we're gonna hear all of that. My hope for Nikki. The Cal Adam Epos, the Cal Epos, the Cal 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 Right then, I've got loads of shout I've got a list here of people to shout out to. And I am going to read through this because it's really interesting. Some of the uh, challenges that people have taken on here, they're racing for, you know, for their own reasons, for their own causes, raising money for charity. So first of all, I'm going to put a big, big shout out to Team Ant from Tico Place. Team Ant from Team God Place, you're probably out here, I'm going to be there's a team of 24 runners representing Team Ant, 5 in the half marathon and 19 in the 10k. So well done, Team Ant, here raising money for Seagull Fight, running in support of an amazing lady, Antonia Daniel. She was a very keen runner herself. Unfortunately, she's not, not able to be here due to her health. But Team Ant, well done, and congratulations to you all. We're running the fight as the half marathon and the tank case. Here we go, Team Ant Runner coming in, yes! Yeah. Wearing the Team Copain's vest. So well done, all of our Team Ant Runners. Right then, I'm going to give some more shout outs. Barry Thompson is number 5505. Barry, if you're here, well done. If not, still out there on the course. Yep, well, 
And it's only, I've got a little story to tell Barry Child. It's only a case that is being helped by the amazing work that Tico Mike is doing. So Barry's asked us to give him a, a big shout out. Barry is taking on this challenge to raise funds to allow them to carry out the brilliant work they do at Tico Mike. So well done, Barry. Who on, The little boy. Okay. So Barry Child, his son has just come out of hospital this morning as it happened. So well done, Barry. And Phil Griffiths, number 1356. He's running the half marathon as part of a challenge to run 12 half marathons in 12 months for local charity joining Jack. So that's Phil Griffiths. Phil, if you're out there, well done. Keep it up. 12 half marathons in 12 months. This one, the Dennis Chris Anglesey half marathon. Runner number 1135, Anwen Williams, is running for SANS, which is Stillbirth and Neonatal Death Society. She'll be running the half marathon in memory of her son, Reese, who would have turned 20 this good as day. So Anwen Williams, number 1135, in her words, so bittersweet for me, but it's her first ever half marathon. So definitely a tribute, a, a very fitting tribute to her son Reese. So well done Anwen, if you're back here with us in your race village, you must be feeling very, very proud of yourself. Well done to you, congratulations. Number 5013 is Moira Rogers, running in aid of Fight for Finn to raise much needed funds to help her son with his fight for cancer. So obviously, huge, huge luck. Best wishes Moira. Uh, with that fight, and also well done to you today for being here with us at the Anthony Art Marathon raising money uh, in that, for that very, very just call. So, Moira Rogers is number 5013. Five, see Moira, give her a clap, give her a round of applause, and congratulations. Right, the number 13 is Kevin Ball. Kevin couldn't run in 2018 because of the beast from the east. Now, remember that one? The beast from the east. But he's back this year to smash it. So he's there, there he is. We've got some, uh, some Kevin Vaughan supporters. So Kevin, this one in 2018 because the beach me. He's back this year to smash it. In 2018, he did 12 events in 12 months, which were nine marathons, two 100 mile bike rides, and a duathlon to raise money for versus arthritis. So welcome to you, Kevin. Congratulations, I am seen. Tom Hook is number 535. Five. Tom is running for the North Wales Air Ambulance in memory of his father Richard. That's Tom Hook for number 535. Five. Well done, Tom. Congratulations. This is Sir, his first ever half marathon. Now, see Ellie, first of all. Ellie, no piece of the pint, that's Ellie. One of our favourite spots, so Ellie is back, now see. Right there, number 5502. Five, is Zoe Roberts. And Zoe is running, raising awareness for Stump San Dizzo for adults with diabetes. So that's Zoe, number 5502. Well done, Zoe. So plenty of more uh, shout outs. Nadej Rutter is a French runner. She's had two operations on her foot, and this is one of her first events back. So well done to you. Uh, recovering from indi injury, Nadej Rutta. Rachel Pritchard is running the 10K to raise awareness and funds for pregnancy sickness support. So well done, Rachel Pritchard. Uh, Donna Kulf is running to raise money in memory of the rescue dog Logan. Donna is doing 20 events in 2020, so keep an eye out for their Logan's Run Bright Yellow t shirt That's Donna Kulf. So well done, Donna. We've got Zip World Runners, they're running to raise uh, awareness to Welsh Heart. So well done to our friends from Zip World. Uh, Donna Reed is running the half marathon in aid of raising money for the social care baby unit at a Sutty, a Sutty Glan Gwilly. And she's running with her husband, Edward Reed. So well done Donna and Edward. Mania Thomas is doing the 10k to raise funds for Wales over 55 hockey squad. That's a good one, so well done Mania. Hockey World Cup South Africa in September, so all the best to our Wales over 50 hockey squad uh, competing out in South Africa in September, and well done to Mania for raising funds for that good cause. All the running dads are out there, so where are all the running dads are running with us today? 
So a fantastic group, uh, group for encouraging their children to run and improve health, fitness and well-being for their kids. So that's all the running down for to you. The shout out to the local clubs, the dog park club, clubs, the Cubby Striders, the Lonely Goats Running Club and the Humaris Town Road Runners, your local running club. There you go. Hayley Price, uh, sorry, Hayley Price Jones, her shout is saying, could you shout out to her sister, Sarah Chuck in the 10K, with her running group, Cleo Colwyn. So there you go, a some shout out for Cleo Colwyn. And the last shout out, big shout out to all the local team runners and all those who have travelled great distances to be with us here today at the 2020 Jones, Chris, Anglesey Half Marathon and 10K. If you have a story to tell, if it's a birthday, a celebration, an anniversary, whatever it is, give us a note at any time, we'll give you a shout out. Lots and lots of great causes, lots of charities, lots of people running to raise money for their own charities raising awareness to lots and lots of good causes. So well done, congratulations to every single one of you. Back to our runners, John Jones, Joe Molyneux from uh, Northwich, Harriet Daniels, Robert Cross from Lonely Goat Running Club, gave them a shout out, Natalia Golovsky, Shana Jones, Shana Parry, Ian Baker, Lynn... God, I've lost my... Lots of people on the screen here, right then, where were we? I'm going to say, well done to Branwen and Dixon, to Ilse Daniel, Richard Wise, Terry Williams, Shannon Owen, who are we? Henry Jackman Day, Lisa Pope, Laura Crabbin, Jay Ginger, Natalie Weeks, Kieran Green, Gareth Sowellis, Leonie Gol uh, Golton, Kevin Slattery from North Wales Roadrunners. Well done, every single one of you, for completing the Jones Chris Angles, the Half Marathon and Gay 10K 2020. We have some treats in store for you on the finish line because every single runner will be given a packet of Jones Chris. They will be given a, a lovely, lovely Brimball Foods Blackjack. They will then be given a t shirt if they chose not to have a treat on it. Govern! 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 So the, uh, the race results should be online, the, uh, the, 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 there's a live feed to the race results. If you want to visit a website which is chiptimes.biz, chiptimes.biz, that will, from there you can download or you can view the race results, it's a live race results service, so as the runners come in over the finish line, their result, their, their result will immediately go online, so chiptimes.biz. You should also be able to view the race results on the race tracker. There are links to the live race tracker on Facebook, on Twitter, and on the race website at alwaysaimhighevents.com. On Facebook you can search Always Aim High Events on Facebook, that's where you'll find us. And there will be a link there to the live race tracker where you'll be able to download the results uh, and see what your results are. So that should be on the live race tracker or on chipfinds.biz.
now, 5 past 11 in the morning. 5 past 11 in the morning, so just look aware, ladies and gentlemen, tracing the 10K. We have a programme that Ty's giving to take place at midday. Okay, that is what we are aiming for. We're aiming to do our award ceremony at midday, so at 12 o'clock. So if they want to delay the prize given for the uh, junior races, so that now has been done. So we are aiming to do our prize given as close as possible to midday, so, so you don't have to hang around any longer than necessary. However, it's actually turned out to be a really nice day out there. So uh, it's cold, but there's, uh, we've got hot drinks, hot food for you there in the race finish. So you can grab yourselves a, a drink, grab yourselves a drink. And enjoy the atmosphere because there will be many, many more runners left coming over the finish line. So please do hang around, do enjoy the atmosphere here at the Jones Fish and the Half Marathon. Rosie Barrett, well done. Harry Taylor, Stephen Davis, Rian Roberts Jones. Sarah Taylor, Kerry Charles, Martin Owen, Rach Garner, Harry Roberts, Sayo Chigid, Sean Gavachiata, and Paul Pino Honachi. I'm Kubo Hai, the 10K there, and they are Hannah Marathon. Well, the Jones, Hannah Marathon, who we feel like to see here. Packing for Jones, Chris, that's what we like to see. Jones, Chris, for every runner, that's what we do here at the Angus Yard Marathon. What a treat for our runners, and actually, if you've never tried them, you need to give a go because I am a bit of a It's my weakness, I've got to be honest. I'm, a, I'm not a cake person, well, I am a cake person. Sadly, but I'm also a crisp person. A Jones crisp. They are the best crisps in the land. Never say no to me. So all my friends are giving their blackjack. They get a. Uh, a t-shirt, unless they chose to uh, donate uh, to plant trees as opposed to uh, the t-shirts. When you exit the finish area, you get your t-shirt. They will be given a medal, a race medal. And also, oh, look at that. Well, you got my, thank you very much. I now have a packet of Jones Chris. This is the uh, sweet chilli flavour. I'll look forward to them in a short while. Not just yet, while I'm checking away. But they, uh, so our runners will get a t-shirt, they all get a race medal. Ah, uh, at this race, as part of our environmental initiative for 2020, we're giving the runners here at the uh, Joe Smith Anthony Half Marath a reusable uh, drink, a running drink bottle. Because we are trying to push the limits and the boundaries on environmental initiative for 2020. You'll read all about it on the uh, Always Him High yeah. website, on social media, and the, in the emails that you receive in our newsletters. We have some very exciting and very interesting initiatives that we will be uh, launching for 2020. So keep an eye out. But we do believe that we have a market leaders when it comes to environmental issues with events such as this one. We try to reduce the number of, uh, of uh, re uh, uh, disposable items, so we know there are no single-use plastics here at this event. We do not use plastic bottles uh, on, the, uh, on the drink station. We use cups which are disposed of in a responsible manner and in the future we are doing everything that we can to try to re reduce the uh, amount of cups that will be used and any other unwanted packaging. We're even exploring ways at the moment of recycling energy gel wrappers. So we've got that one uh, that we're working on right now because there's a great deal of energy gels to get used at these events. So thank you folks, we, uh, we know how important it is these issues that are depressing issues for the planet and we feel a responsibility along with everybody else who should also feel responsible for the planet and to do the right thing uh, for the future and for the future generations. So folks, tea for trees with an initiative which was launched for the first time ever for this year's Anglesey Half Marathon. See for trees, giving our runners the option of choosing tree planting as opposed to a free event t-shirt. So rather than us spending money on a free event t-shirt for you guys, we will spend that money on planting trees. We're working uh, alongside a charity called the Size of Wales, 
The Sides of Wales is a, is a tree planting charity, and we are working in partnership with the Sides of Wales uh, in planting trees as an alternative to a race t-shirt. Okay, it's the first time ever it's been done. It's quite an interesting initiative. We do get people oh, telling us that they've got drawers well, and drawers of well. event t-shirts they don't know what to do with. <laughs> Barry Thompson is in! Well done Barry, congratulations! Barry is in supporting Sick Up Ice. Well done Barry, congratulations for raising much needed funds for Sick Up Ice. What a great cause you're running for. So well done to all of our charity runners here at the Joe Smith Thanks for our Marathon Day Out. He pulls to his axe. And help her, he was said, man, I think I'm going to have fun in that, and help her, he was said, man. But in that, yeah, I'll see. Well done, Joe Blackwood, Claire Hubble, Hannah Green, Philip Salisbury, Joanne Edwards, Helen Cook, uh, Cook, Alice Williams, Alan Owen, Alan Owen, Chris Apshaw, Dale Fee, Tom Gorkhedai, Tom Hook, Emily Sanderson is in from Daventry, well done, Emily. All of our runners, all of our finishers, Dario Higin, Asongo Akatai. Congratulations, Sally Morgan, Jim Rodden, Sally, Leah Hughes, Karen Whedon, Beth Ellis, Stephen Smith, Ryan Simpson, and Roger Barrett from Wingerworth Wobblers. The Wingerworth Wobblers, that's the name and a half, isn't it? Well done, Roger. Well done, Hayley Gibson, Maddie Shankle, Chris Morgan from Stokesy, Gareth Hills, Corina Roberts, Kia Jones. Polly is from L. Downey, L. J. Stokes, David Roberts, Joe Bowden, Hannah Thomas, Kathleen Shaw, Emma Jones, the runners keep on coming. Dio Hiki, Tonka Marchetta Hiki. My wedding daughter, Kuff, Afanar Coach Cinema, the Dream House Coach Cinema Marathon, who are his deck, he runs it around, he's on deck back.
I'm the rest. How long have you got on your Garmin? So, uh, on a positive note, put the positive screen. You get a little bit more beer money today. <laughs> With us here at the Jones Street Angle PR Marathon. Marathon. Even if it was a bit major sport, you'd never 22.1 no, no, no. is the, uh, is, is the uh, measurement on a stunt. So watch there, or not the finish line, is that a Garmin? 22.1 kilometres. Well, not a long So a little bit further than that, than, uh, than the wood that would normally be, be run, but under the circumstances, having uh, been through the difficulties that we've had this weekend. We've managed to keep the race on, and that's what we wanted to do. Of course, it's the same for everybody, the distance to all our runners is exactly the same, but nobody is treated uh, any differently. Everybody having to, to run the extra metres uh, to complete the 22.1 distance race today. Is that how we are? Uh, to be sharp on the corner? Uh, like that? No, we didn't. We go straight on. And you turn up the hill. I think I I played the whole way. And the day came, it was pretty hell. It was most a hell up the way on the way out and then down all the way back. But, uh, uh, sounds like the, the half was pretty good. Would you get your thing then? I think just over there. <laughs> Refuel. 
Might not see much, but it's actually quite hard. Sat down talking non stop all morning. We need fuel as well, so well done to all of our runners. Wow. So many happy faces coming in across the finish line here at the Jones Chris Stancy Half Marathon 2020. This is the ninth time that we've run this race. And the first time ever that we had to reroute the race. We need to start in the usual location, which is by running across the, the world famous Manhattan Bridge. Ladies and gentlemen, we uh, we sincerely hope that we will be back on the Manhattan Suspension Bridge again for next year. For those of you that haven't had the opportunity to run across the bridge, it is a unique experience. And we do hope to be back next year. However, the, uh, the best efforts of Storm Jorge, I think it's called, prevented us from running over the bridge this year, meant that we had to, re to divert the start line down onto the high street. So a big, big thank you to the uh, local community here at Bear Bridge for being so accommodating and for helping us and working with us and allowing us to hold our start line down on the high street. For those of you running across the line looking at your top watch and thinking your times are a little bit slower than anticipated, the course distance of the half marathon is approximately 500 metres further than it would normally be. This is as a result of the the route changes that were necessary in the, uh, on the 11th hour of the day. Because not only did we have to change the start line, but also at half past 11 last night, so at 23.30, we received a phone call yeah, from a friend of ours who worked on the high school. was a tree that was being blown down onto a car at mile 4 of our half marathon route. If we hadn't already uh, grown enough new grey hairs over the last 24 hours, that certainly added to the greying experience. We uh, had to put in our contingency plan, which is to redirect, uh, redivert the route through that next plan. It is a pre-arranged uh, diversion, but it does add about 500 metres to the race route. Hence why some of our half hour time times today will not be as quick as the runners would anticipate because not only is it further, but it is one big, big hill to run it. Twice. So there we go. That explains it. So uh, thank you folks for your understanding. We hope that you uh, agree we made the right decision in keeping the race on as opposed to cancelling the race, which is the only other alternative. So thank you very much for that. That's very much appreciated. It was, it, it's very difficult at times to organise this thing, but I don't know what the right thing to do is. It's one of those that if you do, that if you don't situations. However, we thought it was important to uh, keep the race off. We knew that a lot of people were travelling travelling long distances uh, to Anglesey to race at the Anglesey Half Marathon, and we didn't want to disappoint people. So, folks, thank you very much. For your understanding, we hope you agree it was the right thing to do.
Well, I'm looking at the sounds of the trusty trust 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 lady. Yeah. Who's dancing out there? Come on. Jan dancing? <laughs> well, then Jan always dances, so that's nothing new. Right, right up to start. Third. Prince Paddy's coming in the season over there. Get a ball out. 25 past 11 in the morning. We have been racing since 9 a.m. The half marathon just underway at 9 o'clock. At 9.20, our dragon staff. Last of one. Last of three. The Prince of the East Germany is in now. And our 10K set off, the 10K was at 9.40, so 10K runners are wearing blue bits, and if you do see any blue bits, they are 10K runners, so they have the red bib in the morning. Right, let's have a look at the time of the race. Okay, we're going to have a look at the time of the race. Okay, we're going
Welcome to Welcome Home, Vincent Stodonia. So well done, folks. Congratulations to every single one of you. Chris Hill, Matilda Fellow, Dominic Grayson, Andrea Valentine, Lucy Melville, Phil, Phil Chapter, Steve Edwards, Justin Potter, Yvonne Doe, Carl Braggart, Corey Sherrick, Ellen Parry, Sean, uh, sorry, Shah, Owen, Raya Assad, Greg Cox, Matthew Duffy, Anna Stike, Morgan, Stephen. Wow. Wow, lots and lots of runners. Congratulations on this wonderful St. Davies Day here with us in Benet Bridge, Paulie Jones, Chris and the Zihar Marathon. We hope you're enjoying your 2020 St. Davies Day. Thank you. 
paper if he can write it. But we were not going to be beaten by Storm Forte. Not always in high events we were. Folks, we hope you do agree that we made the right decision in hosting this race. Uh, making some route changes in the 11th hour which were necessary in order to keep the race on for you the runners and for you guys the spectators. So we hope you agree it's the right thing to do. It has meant that you've run a little bit further than 13.1 miles today. So a little bit more for your money folks. That's the positive thing that we're putting on it. Well done to you all. Well done. Gemma Bishop, Helen Allen, Lori Evans, Tina Salzbaum. Tom Howard, Jody Reynolds, Kevin Kenny Gwen, Evan Sio C of the Besiders, Lonnie Bowerman, Lindsay Tilton, Merriweather, Sean Allen, Louise Mitchell, Matthew Evans, Sam Knox, Angus Carmichael, and Matt Yates. There they go. Matt and Angus crossing the line together. It's a TV program, that isn't it? Matt and Angus. Oh no, that'd be Matt and Paddy. Well, folks, we hope you enjoyed. You have Jones, Chris. To look forward to what better way to refuel at the end of your half marathon than a packet of wonderful Joe Trish and a slab of Blackjack honey. David and my dad and Harvey Lloyd and they set up the Erie Harriers running club, the founder members. David, were you the chairman or secretary? You were secretary, my dad was the treasurer, I think Ken Jones was the chair. Ken was the original organiser of the uh, of the stone race. And we used to get dragged up the mountains with these guys, David and my dad. There was no there was no escape, was there David? So we get dragged up the mountains in our running shoes and our little spindly sparrow legs. We did the snow, I did the first snow race with David and Stephen, I was six years old. When we did that, thank you to David, it was inspirational looking back. Nearly 50 years ago, that was it. Nearly 50 years ago. So very, thank you very much, David, is a very, very good old friend of mine, Welsh, our Welsh Athletic race referee. And he's been inspirational in many, many ways in sport across, uh, across Wales. So the set of the Early Harriers Running Club and one of the founders of the, the original Stoke race, now well, in, well over 40 years old that race. And of course still refereeing with us at these races and many of the races. So you'll see the likes of David who's giving up their Sunday to give a referee on races like this to make these events possible. So Piechamau and Ian Dill carry on and it's a heartfelt thanks to David and of course to all of the other event uh, marshals and the helpers we make these races possible and work with us to put these events on. Well, in fact, we're finished Who do we have? We have number 204, Gemma Williams. Gemma Williams from the Pew Valley Town Road Runners. Well done, Gemma. Congratulations. Yes. The Pew Valley Town Road Runners. Let's give them a shout out. Lots and lots of Pew Valley Town Road Runners here today. Martin from the Buckley, of course, is one of your guys. 
Thank you very much. Well done, guys. Congratulations to you all. Also, Kate Owen is in. Gemma Williams is in. Luke Pierce. Janice Davis. Rebecca Doswell from Southern Helen. I know the uh, Rebecca at 28. Rebecca Jim is coming in. It's cool. Wow. Look at it. The sun is out. It's dry. It's not raining. We have had so much rain in these parts over the last few weeks that it's been ridiculous. So we might not have been able to arrange the wind for you today. But we did do our best with the sunshine. So folks, we hope you are enjoying the weather. Congratulations. Harold Halverson, Kerry Ward, Karen Roberts, Sally Johnson, Christina Jones, Benjamin Hewer, Linda Ingram, Abigail Chua and Marie Christian from Rosendale Harriers. Well done you all. Congratulations. We do hope you've enjoyed some lovely, lovely parts of Anglesey. Running past the iconic Humaris Castle, up past uh, Menai Bridge, the Menai Suspension Bridge, some beautiful views along the seafront. Mountain views of Snowdonia, looking out over towards Puffin Island, out onto to uh, down the North Wales coast. You see it all here at the Jones Coast Land PR Marathon. Kevin Vaughan from Pass from Running Orienteering. Well done, Kevin Vaughan, congratulations. Kevin Vaughan, I'll give you a shout out because you were the gentleman who wasn't able to run in 2018 because of the piece from the east of the room I want. But Kevin is back with us this year in 2020. He's raising the money for versus Arkwright. It's all right, Kevin. It's great to have you back with us. Sorry for making 2018. We hope you've enjoyed. And hopefully we will see you again in the future. Next time, maybe, to run over the Manhattan Suspension Bridge if the wind is a little bit kind to us. Congratulations. Right then, who, who do we have? We've got Angus Clark. We've got Robert Coram. We've got Simran Rashid. We've got Rhiannon Bersley. Anna Plastic. Order, Robert Hannah Jones, D. Ellen, Gareth Williams, Joanna Whitehead, Alan Oldfield from Lonely Goat, from Lloyd Perry Jones, and Nathan James, and Helen Phillips. Dayal Borkir Ahonaki, Son Gavachiakai. You are rewarded with Jones, Chris Pebble with half piss, Alan, and Akan Cinema. Here we go, the school is very tough. Should we have a sing song? I'll let this do this. What I would call one whose birthday is it? Alan Oldfield. Yeah? Alan Oldfield is 50 today. Put your hands together, give a round of applause. Alan Oldfield, happy birthday. Ten blue and happy. Celebrating his 50th birthday with us here at the Jones Crisp. And we'll see how it goes in. Alan, you can have an extra bag of crisps. Give him two bags, it's his birthday. There you go. Alan Oldfield from the Lonely Goat Running Club. Karina Roberts is in. Stephen Herbert from Holly Head Running Club is in. Anna Shaw is in. Lara Harvey Kelly is in. Garrett Starkey is in. Kate. Kate is in at Elaine Blaze Jordan from Middleton, Harry is 18. Congratulations to you all. In Welsh we say Sonda Gavachiadai. That means congratulations. In Welsh we also say Sonda which means welcome. And there is a very, very warm welcome to you all here today at the Jones Street and the Art Marathon. 1352. Rachel Lewis. Hello Rachel. Rachel followed by Paul Stoker, Heather Kelly, Melanie Hogan, Sarah Pickerham and Joanna Gorman. Fifty-three and fifty-four is Alison Robinson.
Cameron and Steve Andrews. Anglesey, actually, there's not an Anglesey either. 
Well, at least that's what they tell us. Well, though Claire hasn't been very well recently. So we... <laughs> no, definitely not in Iceland. Right then, where were we? Kerry Jones! Well, Kerry! Congratulations, Kerry is back. Emma Turner, Harry Briggs, Jeanette Smith, Edward Cronin, McCronin, Rich Evans from Bourbon on Trent, Anthony Hibbert from Lonely Goat, Oliver Holmes, Emily Holmes. Is that another husband and wife team that we have? Oliver and Emily, Danny Jones, Robert C. Davis, I help the Nicola Braver, uh, Helga Donaldson, Derry Griffith from Clyde Coast of Runners, Sophie Yates from Lowly Running Club, Jeff from Mockend, Lily Maxey from Tonga Uni, well done Lily, congratulations to you, and Kaylee Hunt from the Vegan Runners UK, well done Kaylee. Andy Bowden is coming in. Here he goes. Give a round of applause for Andrew. Jacqueline Hibbert. Julia Ball and Julia Clutton for Club Hedek Punta Dawe. Nayao for Club Hedek Punta Dawe. Julia and Nicola Poya. Nayao Team. Then Samantha Owen is in on with Samantha Dimitri. Get to a fantastic. Well done, Dimitri. Gwenan Charlton is in. Well done, Gwenan. Congratulations, Diana Gwenan. First of all. Joe Kelly is in. Well done, Joe. Congratulations. So it's now 10 to 12 in the morning, 11 to 51. And our prize giving will be over on the podium in the next. 10 minutes or so. Well done, Leanne and Alexandra from Betsy Runaway. Sayo Key, congratulations. Well done to Owen Duncan. Well done, Owen. Sayan, first of all, from Gorakatai. Ladies and gentlemen, your images from today's race are all courtesy of Mel Parry Event Images. We will post links on Facebook and on the race website and in the post race newsletter so you, you will all receive. The race report, and in that report will be linked to the images from today's race. If any of you would like to, uh, to purchase those images, then you are very welcome to do so. So thank you, Mel, and your team, because Mel is also a local man from Anglesey, who's lovely to work with, and their local businesses, and Mel with GDL event services, and the all of the other local activities businesses who benefit from the Jones Fish and the Art Marathon. Well done, Gwenda Gwen Jones. Or Adolis Chris, I don't see Gunda. Susanna Day is in. Well done, Susanna. And Anne Jones from Curry Striders. Well done, Anne. Congratulations. A little bit more than half a mile of the point today, Anne. About 13.7 miles, so we're told. We, uh, we knew there was approximately 500 metres extra on the diversion route. Not the route that went last. And of course, not only was it told, but it was also much, much heavier than previously planned.
Right, uh, I'm going to say some more uh, shout outs here. Chloe Tilly, Rob Lewis, Leon Arbos, Papa Du Bonus. I do apologise if I didn't get your name right. Mitch Rowley, Ian Gray, D. Ward, Conan Hogan, Val Poole, Steve Bliss, Anna Eckland, Emma Lewis, Claire Mathias, Will Miller, Zoe Chapman, Kaori Evans, Marina Owen, William Quinn, and Sharon Quinn from Kirby Millers. Congratulations to every one of you. Don't give a chance that you will be in the Can you go reach that when you in high? Well, Hannah Marathon, Christy Crash and Tessa, the Hannah Marathon, the Lenny, the Henry, the Fight, Tony, the Scholar, the Henry Cook, the Adam and Law, the Henry Cook, 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 the
So I've got, can you hear me? Can everybody hear me on the, uh, yep, I think that works, isn't it? The mic. Geraint, our, our sponsor from Joe's Crisp is here. Geraint is going to make you go around to the podium. Geraint will be awarding the prizes. I'm going to stay this side of the fence. There's nobody else to look at this. And we're going to start with the 10K. The 10K prize giving, starting with the ladies. So uh, we're going to do the age category winners and then we will finish with the overall winners. So in the over 70s category, uh, our winner today in a time of 1 hour 9 minutes and 11 seconds is Patricia White, uh, Wright. Patricia Wright, first in the ladies over 70, 10K. Is Patricia here? Up to the over 65 category. And in first place in the over 65 in 1 hour and 21 seconds, Derek Vaughan Jones. Derek Vaughan Jones, who love your middle name, Derek, because it's Welsh for Anglesey. How appropriate, Derek Vaughan Jones from Wolverhampton, Bilston, AC. Well, there is up on the podium for a photograph. So you're with here in the lady 65 category, there is Paul Jones, Paul Jones. In the over 60s, in first place in a time of 1 hour, 2 minutes and 8 seconds, is Wenna Hills. Well done, Wena, congratulations, Tom Vakatai, Dayochi. This is Wena Hughes. In the over 55, top two in this category. In second place in 55 minutes on 33 seconds is Maria Hopkins. And the winner in 53 minutes and 39 seconds is Miriam Eaton from Kirby Millen. Miriam, if you're here, come on up. On to the over 50s. And in second place in 51 minutes and 31 seconds is Sally Addenbrook. Sally Addenbrook, are you here? The winner in this category, in 50 minutes and 30 seconds, is Marion Crow. Marion Crow, winner of the uh, over 50 category. Right, on to the over 45, top three in this category. In third place, in 49 minutes and 48 seconds, is Kerryan Evans. Kelly Evans is third in second place in 49 minutes and 6 seconds, Emma Marshall. Seems like most of our 10k runners have gone home. And the winner in this category in 45 minutes exactly is Nia Morgan. No? Okay. Over 40 category, over 40s, in third place, in 50 minutes and 52 seconds, is Deborah Scott. Debbie Scott third, in second place, in 50 minutes and 25 seconds, is Tanya Hall. And the winner of this category, in 46 minutes and 33 seconds, Joanna Adamson. Well, you're doing a very good job of clapping, folks. That was that. There's nobody on the podium. Right then, overall. Top five overall in the 10K ladies race. In fifth place, in 43 minutes and 48 seconds, Jodie Kane. 
Jody from the Irrary, how are you, this is In fourth place. Oh, Jody's here, well done, Jody, thank you for staying. In the fourth place, in 43 minutes and 30 seconds, is Pippa Jones. Pippa in fourth. Pippa's here, thank you, Pippa. In third place, in 42 minutes and 21 seconds, is it Rianne Roxborough. Rian from the Golf Triathlon Club, this year. Go on, Rian. And in second place, in 40 minutes and 47 seconds, Debbie Culshaw. And your winner today, the champion of the Jones and Chris Anglesey 10K, in 39 minutes and 56 seconds, Lydia Sharp. Congratulations ladies and thank you very much for your patience. So your top five in fifth, Joey Kane, fourth, Pippa Jones, third, Rian Roxburgh, Debbie oh, Kulshaw in second, and your champion this year is Lynn Sharp. <laughs> thank you very much ladies. So men's 10K next. And in the over 70s category, the winner in a time of 57 minutes and 41 seconds is John Garvey. John not here? Okay. Uh, in the over 65 category, in first place in 50 minutes. And 13 seconds is Edwin Edwards, Stock and Eddie Ayers. Edwin Edwards, stay off the Edwin. They didn't start till 9.30, did they? But still, at 10.30 and now at 12, you know, it's a long time. Stay off, Edwin. In the over 60s, in first place in 42 minutes and 17 seconds, Dewan Hughes, or in any areas, wow, well done Dewan, I have hit the land, don't give a chat, I'm sad, careful in the hour, and of course, I'm not giving a chat, I'm not giving a chat, I'm not giving a chat, Dewan Hughes is your winner today in this category. Men's 55. Top two in second place in 52, uh, sorry, 45 minutes and 23 seconds. Richard Hankinson. Richard Hankinson second, and your winner in this category in 41 minutes and 37 seconds, Colin Price. Congratulations. Richard in second, Colin in first, Colin time 41 and 37 seconds. On to the men's over 50s, top two again, in second place, in 46 minutes and 25 seconds, is Philip Hayden. And your winner in this category, in 45 minutes and 40 seconds is Sean Jones. Sean Jones from Colwyn Bay Athletic Club. Sean Jones, are you here? Okay, on to the men's 45 category. Top three. In third place. In 45 minutes and six seconds is Lyndon Roberts. Lyndon in third today. In second place. In 43 minutes and 12 seconds is William Williams. And the winner of this category in 41 minutes and 8 seconds is David Armitage. Hold it high, hold it proud, be proud, well done. On to the over 40 then, in third place. In 44 minutes and 12 seconds is Kieran Williams. Kieran Williams third. Here he is, right, Kieran. In second place, 
In 43 minutes and 28 seconds is Neil Rogers. And the winner of the over 40s category in a time of 40 minutes and 30 seconds, David Hines. David Hines, winner of the over 40s. Well, David, congratulations.
the ladies over 50 category. In second place, in 1 hour 59 minutes and 30 practice seconds, the Larry Jones. The Larry Jones, second in this category, and the winner in 1 hour 50 minutes and 36 seconds is Jani Gall. Jani Gall, are you here, Jani? Janine, I do apologise, it's Janine Gall. Well, Janine, congratulations. Right then, on to the ladies over 45 category, top three. In third place, in 1 hour 48 minutes and 25 seconds, is Penny Butterfield. In second place, in 1 hour 46 minutes and 40 seconds, is Susie Cumming. And the winner of this category, in 1 hour 42 minutes and 23 seconds, Vicky Elston. Well done, Vicky, and thank you very much for uh, your patience in waiting for the prize giving. Ladies over 40 in third place in 1 hour 43 minutes and 23 seconds, Rose Broad. Rose Broad in third place. In second place, in 1 hour 42 minutes and 27 seconds, Nia Gwynn. Nia is here. Well done, Nia. Congratulations. And your winner in this category is close, actually, this one. Not much time between these runners. 1 hour 41 minutes and 9 seconds is Michelle Fox. Michelle Fox, your winner today in the over 40 category. On to our top five overall. In fifth place, in one hour, 39 minutes and 50 seconds, is Julia Holmes. Julia Holmes. In fourth place, and actually I should take uh, note that this lady is actually in the over 45 category. But in fourth place overall, in one hour, 39 minutes and 7 seconds, is Carla Green. Well then, Carla, in third place, in 1 hour 38 minutes and 18 seconds, Anna McKenzie. Anna from the Erbury Harriers Running Club. Carla Green from the North Wales Road Runners Club. In second place, in a time of 1 38 and 5 seconds, is Gemma Moore. Gemma also from the Erebi Harriers Club, so well done Gemma. And your winner today, the champion of the 2020 Jones Chris Anglesey Half Marathon in 1 hour 32 minutes and 56 seconds, Lucy Williamson. Lucy from Ilkley Harriers AC, so well done Lucy for travelling all this way to be with us at the Jones Chris Anglesey Half Marathon, I hope. It has been worth the journey. We hope you've enjoyed. Right then. But just very quickly before we move on to the men's uh, half marathon, we have a prize in the half marathon for the fastest Jones runner, male and female. We're going to do this on quickly. Uh, in the ladies' race, our fastest Jones is number 1390, Zoe Jones. Is Zoe here? If Zoe is here, come on up because we have a prize for Zoe. And in the men's race, very uh, a quick time actually, 1 hour, 27 minutes and 11 seconds, is Kieran Jones, number 404. Is Kieran still here? No, he's not. Okay, but you guys are our fastest Joneses at the Jones Chris Anglesey Half Marathon. Right, and on to the men's half marathon result. In the over 70 category, our winner in a time of 2 hours, 2 minutes and 5 seconds is Tony Hodgson. 
Tony from the Mayor of the Running Club. Tony Hudson. Right, on the men's 65 category, your winner in 1.49 and 2 seconds is Bob Hines. Hello Bob, Bob Hines. In the men's over 60s, your winner in 1 hour 28 minutes and 32 seconds, Ivan Lloyd from Swansea Harriers. Wow, very impressive. Well done, Ivan or Ivan. One hour, 28 minutes and 32 seconds. From Swansea Harriers. Well done, Ivan. Incredible, incredible race. Right, uh, in the 55 category, in second place, in 144 and 32 seconds, Stuart Jones. And the winner of this category in 141 and 51 seconds is Mark Wrigley. Right then, into, up to the men's over 50s. Second in 1, 37 and 23 seconds, Neil Dallywater. And your winner in 1, 34 and 5 seconds is Owen Humphreys from the Dumaris Roadrunners. Men's over 45. Top three in third place uh, in 1 at 26 and 41 seconds, Andrew Savage. In second place in 1 hour 26 minutes and 17 seconds, Jonathan Kettle. Yes, Jonathan, you're here. Thank you very much for your patience. And our winner in this category in 1 hour 24 minutes and 57 seconds, Nick Brook. Another of the Erori Harriers running club, Nick Brook, got a Nick. Right then, we, this is the, we're going to do the over 40s and then we're going to jump back a little bit. So in the over 40s, in the third place, in a time of 1.29 and 55 is Alex Carlo. In second place, in 1.29 and 16 seconds is Mark Jones. And the winner of this category in 1 hour 27 minutes and 48 seconds, Rob Fowler. We're going to dip back to our men's over 70s category because we believe our winner is here. So please put your hands together in 2 hours, 2 minutes and 5 seconds, Tony Hobson. Well done, Tony. From the main of the running club. Dai Tony. Tony Hobson. And just on to our top 5 overall. In 5th place in the men's race, in 1 hour 24 minutes and 32 seconds, is Richard White. In 4th place, in 1 hour 23 minutes and 58 seconds, Tony Harris. Well, it's Tony. Tony from the London City Runners, wow. All the way from London. In third place, in 1 hour 21 minutes and 31 seconds, Elliot Smith Rasmussen. In second place, in 1 hour 21 minutes and 19 seconds, Stefan Sayer. 
and your winner in one hour, 21 minutes and 8 seconds from North Wales Roadrunners, please put your hands together for Martin Green. Believe it or not, folks, Martin is in the Uber 45 category. How about that? Showing away to some younger runners. There you go. Martin Green, also the winner of our Conway Marathon last year. So Martin now has the Conway Marathon and Anthony Half Marathon double. So, folks, thank you very, very much indeed for your patience. We hope you enjoyed. It has been a very challenging weekend for us here at OSA My Event. We hope that you agree we made the right decision to conduct the race despite the uh, conditions and despite the need to reroute the courses. We wish you a, a safe journey home and hopefully we will see you again soon, perhaps at the Anti Trail Half Marathon in a, a few weeks' time. Thank you and goodbye. I'm going to make my way back to the finish line because we have more runners coming in. But there's a We'll turn the music up again, eh? Get the people dancing on the finish line.